Have a little tour at the camp, guys. We're at Lake Lyle, Lithka. It's one of my favourite spots. Easy and it's just... I know I can get food out of there. It's good fun, catching the abbey's fish. And um, actually have a little... You know, if you want firewood or anything like that, you can't cut it down. You can't collect it, but they got, you know, 10 bucks a bag up there and you've only got to walk up the road. It's just easy. Just my getaway relax, I don't have to worry about anything. I take all the equipment I can to make it comfortable. It ain't no bushcraft or survivalist weekend, as we say. It's just joy. Now, I've actually got it set up this time with the front wall on. I'll give you a, a better view. Woods are on your mat, mate. There's the ute. I've got the front wall on the Oz tent, and the awning comes out just so I can access the back of the ute without getting drenched if it does rain. I don't think it's going to. Supposed to rain in Sydney for a week, that's why I'm out here. Alright, you got one door there, etc. The back of the ute, at the moment I was just um, starting to set up a fishing rod. But yeah, the back of the ute's um, whatever, it's a bench, you know, anything you want to do, it's all good. Step inside, look, I've even got a mat. And that's just to keep the rocks off, guys, because they get stuck in my boots and end up in the tent, and I hate that. So, okay, in the first corner we have a table. Esky cooking stuff. There's tons of it there. Like I like cooking when I'm out in the bush. There's nothing better than the flavour of the fire for your food, and I just love it. Good food in the bush. Good spirits. Over here, two containers full of dry foods storage. Underneath is the dog food. Um, yeah, that uh, milk crate's what I store my little. You can see it out there. The fire pit goes in that. But it's a handy thing. So that's that. My chair's outside. If it rains, I can move it in. When you come into the bedroom, oh, which I haven't finished unpacking, even my sleeping bag, jackets on my bed with stretcher. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And these lines, guys, I don't know if you own an Oz tent or not, but I just tied this rope in here. It basically comes from, I don't know if you can see it, there's a loop in that corner, and the loop in that corner. It affects nothing when you fold it up. I've never had any issues. One on both sides. Basically, I just hang clothes or stuff on there. Um, yeah, it's just storage. <coughs> I left these loops long. Finish at the end of the night with your headlamp or, or whatever. You can just loop it up. Easy. That's all it is. And anything, all the bags and all the stuff that I'm finished with are under there. There's an extra sleepy bag in case you get cold. That's it. Cut one of those mats up to protect the floor. So That's pretty much it, guys. Home away from home. Right. This place charges uh, from memory I think it's twenty two dollars a night. But they have the facilities, they have showers, toilets, everything's clean and good. Twenty two dollars a night this view, especially at night time. Yeah, why not? There are other sites close to the water. Um, this one's a bit raised from the water but still it's just a short walk down there. Got the yabby crap. Yabby crap. Got the yabby pot in there, trying to catch some yabbies for dinner. Also fishing bait, we get some little ones. And the weather out here is pretty much perfect at the moment. I'm about one degree off putting a jumper on, so you know, it's comfortable. And the sun's going down, so it's nice actually, at the end of the day. Big house over there in here. Anyway, that's my setup. Can't I need to get back so you can see it, but that's life. I'll take some photos, put some photos in there. Edit, 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 edit. I'm at number 62, if you want to look it up online, you can see where that is. There you go. Yeah, I'll take some photos of it. Just slipping down the bank. This rope going across here, I don't know if you can see it even one tree to the other because the dog's supposed to be tied up so I'll set him up a run if anyone comes around but there's no one here at the moment so he can walk around and do what he pleases pretty comfy guys no reason to stress over anything that's what it's about enjoying outside enjoying the scenery enjoying the smells enjoying the not driving in Morning all. I'm gonna go down the river and see if there's any 
Yeti fishing line was all tangled up in crap last night, so I just left it out. Picked up two seconds. wants to roll in the ship. Come here. Oh, you're going to go in. All right. Oh. Buddha. Buddha. Come on. 